Howdy everybody, Steve, KM9G here. We're gonna do a quick firmware review on all the different firmwares that have come out on the Zygu G106 to date. So the radio came with version 1.0 of the firmware and there wasn't hardly anything wrong with it because this radio doesn't have hardly any features. So it was hardly likely they could screw it up, but they still did. It did not have AM transmit. So in later versions of the firmware, they fixed AM transmit. The other thing that I noticed was that the Morse code timing, the CW timing wasn't really good for me and it could be me it could not be me better people than me have had bigger problems with cw on this radio and other zygu radios than i have but they are working to fix it what we have now is a couple of new firmwares we've got 1.1 beta 01 we've got 1.2 beta 02 i don't know how we skipped whatever we've got 1.2 beta 03 which is actually a chinese only firmware and i don't think there's anything on the radio that's in chinese versus english in terms of whatever. So I went ahead and applied that one. So I'm on the latest version of the firmware. Version 1.1 beta 01 was supposed to fix some CW key timing. I haven't seen it. Lower TX audio gain, higher signal to noise ratio for transmit. I've got some recordings here for you. We're going to do the same comparison that we did before with the ICOM 7300 at 5 watts and the Zygu at its only power setting and see how that sounds. So this is the ICOM 7300 at 5 watts. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf on 21.348. Testing on the ICOM 7300 at 5% power. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 3, 2, 1. KM9G. And for comparison's sake, this is the Zygu G106 at its only power setting. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf on 21.348. Testing the Zygu G106 at its only power setting. I don't think it sounds bad. I didn't think it sounded bad the last time, but it's supposed to sound better now. You tell me if you think that it sounds any better. I think it still sounds good as a, you know, a QRP radio can sound. There's a factory reset option. Let's go take a look at the factory reset option. Okay, let's turn it off. Bye. And for factory reset, we hold down the mode key and we turn it on. I didn't hold it down long enough. I seem to have this problem with Zygu radios. Bye. Hold down the mode key, turn it on. All right, factory reset, yes or no. It doesn't really indicate which one of these buttons is yes or no. So if I press the second one, is that no? No, the second one factory resets. Let's do this again. Bye. Hold down mode button, turn on. Factory reset, third button, yes or no. Okay, so that's a no, it just rebooted the radio. All right, so the first two buttons are yes to firmware. Bye. No. Okay. Okay, so the first two buttons are yes to factory reset, second two buttons are no to factory reset. It does not reset your stored memories. So what is it really resetting? This radio doesn't have a lot of parameters to it. It's gonna reset your Morse code speed and your key type back to normal. It's gonna reset your transmit power. I don't really have a panic button for that. It's okay, it's fine. All right, what's up next? Added AM transmit function. Okay, so here is the AM transmit function, what it sounds like. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, testing AM transmit on the Zygu G106. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. So I think that sounds pretty good for a little QRP radio. What's next? All right, in 1.2B02, they improved speech intelligibility. That doesn't really mean anything to me. What speech did they improve? The radio doesn't talk to me, so they must have improved my speech intelligibility? Okay. Well, you heard it, so who knows? And 1.2B03, they added the TX power adjustment. Note, there is a certain error in the low mid gear, which is a normal phenomenon. Sounds ominous, I don't know. Let's go take a look. If we click on any one of these buttons, we'll get the menu to pop up. And if we roll the menu around, there are a couple of new settings in the menu. One of them is mic gain. So we'll change the mic gain and it tops out at 30 and it bottoms out at zero and it was set to 20 by default. Okay, so that's 20 on the mic gain. We'll do a little bit of testing on that. On page five of five of the menu, you have transmit power setting. 
Let's see what we have. We have high, mid, and low. Remember, low and mid have gearing problems, so we gotta get the transmission checked out. I don't know. Let's do some samples on that. So we're rocking the 15 meter band on the web SDR out in Utah. This is what it sounds like on high power. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf testing the Daigu G106 on high power. Kilo Mike 9 Golf on high power. 1334, 4321, KM9G. This is what it sounds like on low power. And this is what it sounds like on mid power. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf testing the Daigu G106 on mid power. 1334, 4321. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. I don't really hear much of a difference between the three different power settings. Let's see what key down CW looks like on the power output. Okay, so we are on the high setting. That's straight key down, 6.8-ish watts. Key down on mid setting. Oh, we had a little burst of three there, but we're at 1.2 something. 1.2 and a half. TX power on low setting. Low setting slightly higher than mid setting, interesting. They did say there was a gearing problem. So that's all the news that's fit to print on the Zygu firmware update. There is a video right up here on how to update your firmware on the Zygu G106. And you can do it with the DE19 or with the Zygu cable. If you have either one of those, as long as you've got your USB comms connection, you are good to go on that. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.